And the thing to know about Lake Superior is that its water level has changed quite significantly over the past 10,000 years. The, the water level that we know today has really only been stable for roughly about 1,000 years. And even within that, there's, there's variation. My in-laws owned a camp on uh, just out of Marquette on Lake Superior. And the erosion even to their shoreline within the time that my wife was a little kid to now is, is really different. With, with the, the shorelines, with those past 10,000 years, is the lake level has gone up and down. And every time it, it goes up and down, it creates a new kind of a, a normal shoreline, if you will. So the shoreline we have today is not the shoreline you would have had 4,000 years ago. And it's not the shoreline you would have had 9,000 years ago. And there's a couple different major shorelines that we track. And the first one right out of the glaciers melting is called the Manong, in which case the water level was way up. Now, most of Isle Royale was underwater. A lot of the surrounding areas were underwater. And there's really just this kind of just spine that's sticking out of the water. Now, it was like that for a while, and we're not talking 10, 20 years, we're talking hundreds of years, sometimes thousands, that these lake levels would stay at least close. Even within that period, it would vary, but they would, you know, they would wash against the shore and they would create a pronounced uh, relic beach, essentially the beach that is left behind when the lake level changes. 